All right, in this example, we're going to find the foci of an ellipse that's centered at the origin. It has an eccentricity of two-fifths, and the vertices are going to be located at 0, 0,3 and 0, 0,3. So um, let's see. So the vertices are at 0, 0,3 and at 0, uh, negative 3. Again, we're told that the eccentricity equals 2 over 5. And again, we're trying to find the foci, okay? So in this case, our foci will be of the form 0, comma, c and 0, comma, negative c. So all we need to do is somehow deduce the value for c. Recall that there's this relationship. It says the eccentricity equals uh, c over a. But also recall that the distance from our vertices to wherever it's centered, that's our a value. So in this case, our a value, since it's centered at the origin, our a value would equal 3, since again, you're going 3 units to, get to, uh, to, to arrive at one of those vertices. Uh, so a equals 3. So now we can simply use this to solve for c. And once we get c, we'll know our, what our foci are. So on the left, we have 2 fifths equals c over a. Again, we said a is equal to 3. We can just multiply both sides by 3 by 3. Well, on the left side, we'll have 3 times 2, which is 6. 1 times 5 will be 5. On the right side, uh, the 3s will cancel out. And we'll get that c equals 6 fifths. And that's all we really need to know, because now it says our foci will be at 0 comma uh, six fifths, and also at zero comma negative six fifths. So I'm just going to write that as zero plus and minus six fifths.